Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Oyer. I'm going to talk to you about the different methods of hormonal contraception we have available. Usually when we talk about birth control, most people immediately assume we're talking about birth control pills, or the pill as it's often called. And that is one method of contraception we have. We're very lucky now in that there are several different options. The pill, the patch, the ring, and the shot are all different methods of contraception that have different advantages and are all very similar in other ways. Birth control pills are 98 to 99 percent effective if taken perfectly, which means taken at roughly the same time each and every day. When one starts on birth control pills, they can expect to have some side effects. Most commonly, the early side effects someone will have are breakthrough bleeding, meaning bleeding between your periods, sometimes breast tenderness, a little mild nausea, rarely headaches, sometimes mood changes, and usually in the first two to three months, those symptoms will go away. If those symptoms are still there after three months, give us a phone call and we're happy to change your pills and help you find a pill that doesn't have that particular side effect. We ask that you not just stop your pills because then you're at risk for pregnancy. Give us a call, we're happy to help you. In addition to the negative side effects, there are many positive side effects of birth control pills. Most commonly is shorter, lighter periods. Often women also will have less cramping with their periods on birth control pills. Virtually all birth control pills will decrease the amount of acne a woman has. And if you're on birth control pills for any length of time, you significantly decrease your chance of ovarian and uterine cancer over the next years or decades of your life. You also, when you're on pills, can choose to have fewer periods or no periods at all, and we'll help you learn how to do that. Birth control pills come in two forms, the kind that have two hormones in them, both estrogen and progesterone, or the kinds that just have progesterone in them. Pills that have both estrogen and progesterone, which is the vast majority of pills, can cause some side effects that the progesterone-only pill does not cause. And that is a serious side effect that causes blood clots. And those blood clots tend to be ones that can form in your legs and travel to your heart, lungs, or head, causing heart attacks or strokes. The chance of that is very, very slim. About nine women out of 10,000 will have side effects such as these. That's not a very large risk. However, it is about twice the risk of women who aren't on hormones at all. Interesting to note, however, it's half the risk of women who are pregnant. So what we ask is that you not worry about these risks, but if you were to have side effects that you think might be associated with a blood clot, you call us. And those are pain in your legs or pain in your abdomen, shortness of breath, visual changes, or headaches that are different than anything you've ever had before. And if you have any of those symptoms, we'd want you to call that day so we can talk about it and decide if it is likely you have a blood clot or not. Women who have certain health risks cannot take birth control pills with estrogen in them. Those women are women who know they have a family history of a clotting disorder, women who've had a clotting disorder on their own, women who are over 35 and smoke, women who have other risks for heart disease, women who have severe diabetes with side effects related to that. The only way to know if you're someone who fits in this category is to come in and go over your medical history with us. If you do have one of those, there are other methods of birth control that can be used, including the pill without estrogen in it. But there are many options for you as well. There are other kinds of birth control that are very similar to the pill, but don't involve needing to remember to take your pill every day. The first would be the vaginal ring. In the United States, there is one vaginal ring available, and it's called the Nuva ring. It should really be thought of as being just like the pill, but the hormones get in through your vaginal wall instead of through your gut. When you take a pill, you take it by mouth every day, and as the pill goes through your intestines, it gets absorbed. The vaginal ring sits in your vagina for up to a month at a time and is a slow, steady release of hormone that gets into your bloodstream through your vaginal wall. The huge advantage to this is you don't need to remember to take it every day. You think of it at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month, and otherwise never need to think about it again. The other huge advantage is because it's a slow, steady release, it's a lower dose of hormone, and so some women who have side effects on the pill are less likely to get side effects on the ring. The ring also can be used to have fewer periods or no periods, and we're happy to help you figure out how to make that happen. Again, if you're a woman who can't take estrogen, you can't use the ring. But again, there are many other options available for you. 
The contraceptive patch, in our country called ortho -evera, is also like the pill, but gets in through your skin rather than through your gut. It looks essentially like a band-aid. The patch you put on for a week at a time, for three weeks in a row. The patch can go on your upper outer arm, it can go on your belly below your waist, or it can go anywhere on your back. It needs to stay on for the full week. So you put a patch on, you pick a day of the week, you put on your patch, and every week when that day comes, you take off that patch and put a new patch on. On the fourth week, you don't put a patch on, and during that week, you will get your period. The patch, if used perfectly, is 98 to 99% effective. Some people have worried that the patch will fall off. And interestingly, the company worried about that as well. And in their early studies, they assigned women to either take a hot tub every day, work out every day, go swimming every day. And what they found is that in all conditions, fewer than 2% of the patches fell off. The nice thing about the patch is you can see it, and if it looks like it's falling off, you can put a new one on to make sure that you are in fact protected. The last hormonal method of contraception is the shot. The shot is called Depo-Provera. Depo-Provera contains just progesterone, and therefore women who can't take estrogen can use the shot. The shot is given every 12 weeks, which means four times a year, you need to come into an office to get the shot, and between that time, you can rely on it. It's over 99% effective. The biggest side effect with the shot is changes in your bleeding. Early on when you're using the shot, you're likely to have irregular bleeding between periods, usually not heavy, little spotting, and for most women, they have no trouble with that. Later on, women tend to not get periods at all. There are some women who like to get their periods to reassure themselves that they're not pregnant, but most women know since the shot is over 99% effective, and if they know they got their shot on time, they know they don't need to worry about if they're pregnant or not. One of the other side effects of the shot is it tends to, in many women, increase their appetite, and so women are worried about weight gain. Let me assure you that if you don't change your eating habits or your exercise habits, you will not gain weight. You'll only gain weight if you actually do eat more. The shot, once it's in, it's in. If you like it, that's fabulous. If you don't like it, there's no getting rid of it till it wears off over the next three months. The only way to know if you'll like it, however, is to try it. We invite you to do so. And if you don't like it, we're happy to help you find another method when those three months are over. So these are the four methods of hormonal contraception. They all have some advantages and disadvantages. It's really up to you which you're most comfortable with. We're happy to help you with any of them.